So the, the problem we want to address is a huge one. Inequality is bad. Inequality is, is bad for health outcomes, for technological development, for economic development, and fosters radicalism and populism. So we are in a very lucky situation in Hungary that we have this uh, pre-Facebook uh, online social network uh, that we have access to. I mean, we have the data uh, from this from this uh, uh, online social network. This is already dead. So international who is who, if if is is shut down already. But um, we were in a very very lucky situation that before uh, the owners decided to shut down the service, we had the opportunity to collect available data from all the profiles that were on the website. Uh, so the, the most important information we want we will use is ID of friends, so the friendship network and the location. We have papers on this data. In one of the papers, we looked at uh, the relation between the structure of the network in towns and socioeconomic phenomena. So for example, this is not a, a not very fragmented network because you you find communities in, in, in here but still these communities are interconnected. Uh, on, on the contrary, these, this network is fragmented because communities that we find in the network are only loosely connected with each other. And Johannes finds and proves that this type of um, uh, structure is strongly and significantly related to corruption risk in towns. So we're gonna do something very similar and quantify the fragmentation of social networks in towns. A uh, very similar thing, if we detect communities in, in the social networks, so we, we zoom into, the, into towns, leave only those networks or individuals that are located in the town, um, collect their social connections, found, uh, find and uh, detect communities there, and then quantify the, the fragmentation of, of these, uh, these structures. For, for example, Arco is not a, a fragmented town because still, again, communities are interconnected. On the contrary, Gödel is a, uh, a fragmented town. And we want to understand how the, uh, this structural uh, quality of these networks are related to uh, income inequalities. So um, the, the good thing is that we have the social network data from year 2011, and then we could collect some socioeconomic data from, from that year, 2011, and five years later, and then we, we're gonna see how uh, the social network is related to changes. And what we see is that social networks are contributing to inequalities. So the fragmentation is increasing inequalities in those, those towns where the, the, the inequalities were already high in the very beginning. So this is, this is what this plot tells us. If you have a, a, a town in which inequalities are high and plus the networks are fragmented, then inequalities are on the rise. So if, if, if the dimension of similarity that fragments the networks is, is the rich and poor, then probably we are in these vicious circles that is very difficult to, uh, to break.